All right. Hey, Raw Dog, welcome back. So by request, someone on YouTube asked me to redo Asura with their team comp instead of what I had. It'd be a little different for me because I don't really have a way to like dispel my team unless I put Bushido on someone, which I probably should do. Um, or I give like her dual cast. I don't have a way to dispel my team, do I? Um, someone needs to have Bushido. Maybe, um, well, Orn might kill everyone if he did it. Because, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but if we don't have a magic tank and we get the same elemental, uh, elemental stance twice in a row, we're going to be imperiled for the second one. And imperiled for the second one's bad. So if we had Holy One on Sylvie, we took off the Lust Dagger, put Holy One here. Does it have to be Holy One? Yeah, dual white magic. We're gonna put Holy One on Sylvie. That's like the only way around it. And then, um. Give, well, we don't need Lost Dagger on him. And then put some spirit things on Nicole. I'll give her, I'll give him, I'll give him this. So, my Nicole's gonna be my main healer here. Yeah, we're doing a Sura right now, Raw Dog. Um. So there's gonna be that and she can dual cast like Kraga to spell trick to dispel my team if necessary Or holy dispel good trick holy dispel good trick works too actually as long as yeah, holy dispel trick works We'll go with that. All right, cool So that'd be that'd be good Nicole's gonna be the main healer orange is the breaker Wilhelm's gonna be doing most of the tanking um I do actually roll dog. It's a little harder though and you gotta follow it specifically and you gotta remember to take your items because you got mad at me for that you're gonna take your items if you're doing the quick strap for azura i do well it's a six turn one not two turn i have the six turn azura one we're gonna follow it like correctly you can't skip anything on that one we're gonna turn battle effects and stuff on too um yeah someone wanted me to do do this with wilhelm instead of sea card and um we're gonna do that and uh, orn instead of lid so orn i don't even know how to use orn this is my first time ever using orn right now i honestly have no idea how to use them at all like none zero zero idea um all i know is that he's not auto provoking so he needs to provoke turn one what's fiend me channel i don't even know what it is <laughs> this is a true well if I was a bigger whale, I'd be able to do more cool stuff. Um, basically, yeah, gear. Sylvie's like geared for uh, high tide and resistance. Well, Helm's geared for as much defense and HP as possible. I'm not auto provoking with him. I'm gonna assume that I'm actually casting provoke myself. Um, Orin is ge geared for high tide. I'll post the builder link too. I'll do that on stream. Save some time. And Nicole's geared for as much spirit as possible and toxic rain. So we can blind the boss. You could also put Toxic Rain on Orn too, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, but you need Toxic Rain somewhere in your party. And Esther's just built with LB damage and man eater. And I just got like a random random Esther friend. No, you don't cover turn one. So turn one's all all single target damage. So you, you just need to provoke. Alright, Zerger sounds good. Peace out, my dude. And then we're gonna put up mitigations as well and um i guess soulful stance is fine yeah <laughs> oh, no, i wish i could do that um and i'm gonna buff what and break at the same time when you trust the future we're also gonna do that uh zerker all right we'll have fun that sucks my dude but you'll be fine i believe in you and we're not, we can't really deal, deal damage until like turn five anyway, so I'm just gonna bolting strike for lols. Um, just to build some Chris and stuff. And Sylvie needs to make sure that she's um doing stop resistance because she's my stop resistance girl. And um, I don't know what she else she can do. She can also help Orn break if necessary too. She can put up a barrier, I guess. Sure, why not? There you go, barrier. This is a live stream, by the way, but I like streaming, so I'm just gonna record things on stream too. 
I can combine both, right? Now, Wilhelm possibly might die of turn one. <laughs> um, but after that, he should be fine. Because he can defend and heal himself, and he can heal over time with Nicole. Secret takes way less damage. Whoa, hashtag content. Heal up, Wilhelm. I believe in you. Um, what are the missions here? I forget. It's like wind damage. Yeah, ice water, wind and dark. We brought some items to take advantage of that as well. Um, dark damage should come from anima, if I recall correctly. Three more limit bursts, we gotta evoke the espers, so we should be fine. So. This turn, Azor Asura basically does nothing. So you can literally do whatever you want this turn. Um, you can literally do whatever you want. And... I don't know what to do with Nicole. I want him to heal people, so I'm probably just gonna do Fortune Stance. Sylvie um, can re raise my tank, I guess, maybe? I don't know. And. She doesn't have any healing. Rip. Should have re raised the tank in herself. Sure, why not? And then Orin, I'm gonna save his LB for something important. We can go ahead and get wind damage knocked out of the way. You can do some wind damage. There you go. Wind, mi wind mission. Boom. Done. Easy peasy. Well, then next turn we have the guard, but someone we can't use any LBs and we can't attack or do anything like that. So you can like buff up, heal, do what you gotta do, guard with somebody, um, do all that fun stuff. But he uses as many items as he wants, so we can also take advantage of elixirs, and we can't attack at all. Just like don't do anything. Just like chill. Why is Wilhelm not healing a whole bunch? He's gonna be taking butt tons of damage. I don't know why he's not healing a lot. And then Sylvie can put up some ice resistance for our party, which I should have did with Nicole, but I never, because I'm an idiot. I'm gonna do magic damage. Um, I'm gonna put up magic uh, thingy. Perfect. And then turn four, she needs to put up stop resistance again. So just defend, 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 and defend some more. Everyone just defend infinitely and she won't do anything this turn. And then now she's gonna do ice damage and we need to hit the boss with ice or fire. Um honestly, I don't even know who has fire damage right now. Well Wilhelm can hit the boss with ice. So Wilhelm can do that. And then Nicole can like heal people with soulful stance and buff ice resistance. Great. And we can chain with Esther's to build some LB gauges. We're gonna do that after our Orin LBs, though. Oh, we didn't dispel, did we? Yeah, we should probably dispel, too. Yeah, let's dispel. We hit, we hit with ice with Wilhelm. Uh, I should have brought more options than just, just Wilhelm for ice, honestly. I have Nicole if it comes down to it. And I need to make sure I break the boss as well. So Orin's the main breaker here. We don't need to spell herself right now. We're fine. The imperil happens after she attacks. So you only need to dispel yourself if you get the same stance twice in a row. The big one. Oh, I don't have White Knight Noel. I couldn't afford to buy shit during Christmas, Raw Dog. I had to buy gifts for people. Alright, we're good. So you only you only really need to dispel yourself if um she does the exact same elemental stance twice in a row. If you're bringing no magic tank. Um, no, not really. I don't really watch basketball, honestly. So if you look at her buffs, she's in oh, so she's in defensive stance right now. So you don't want to attack during the stance. You don't want to attack with anyone. You don't want to use any LBs. You don't want to do like basically anything. Um, from tickets, nice. That's pretty good. So if you look at the boss, I mean, why is this music so loud? If you look at the boss and you see defense and spirit, you basically don't want to attack or use any LBs or do anything like that. That is a bad stance. You want to keep stop resistance up with Sylvia at all times. Make sure you remember that and probably some elemental resistance too. Um, you can cover during this phase. Covering's pretty good during the defense and spirit phase. 
And basically just do nothing with your team. Just like defend every everywhere. It's like constant defense. So just like defend, 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 defend. Just like defend infinitely. And just don't attack, don't use any LBs at all. I thought I was covering. That's fine, we can raise Nicole. Do you want to do all that again? Why, is the, why did Nicole even die? Um, so what I can do is I can actually Phoenix down Nicole with Esther. This is why I like bringing items. I'm going to defend with Orin and provoke with Wilhelm. That wasn't provoking, right? So not having auto provoke would be way, 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 way better. But um, I don't have auto provoke equipped because I assume that the person that I'm doing this for does not have auto provoke. But auto provoke is like god tier in this fight. We can't use any LBs and we can't attack the boss. But I can use Lakshmi to restore HP for everyone. There's no rule saying I can't use Espers, so I'm just going to use Lakshmi to restore HP to everybody. I don't think I have any mitigations up either. It's probably going to be a very hard turn, honestly. And I forget most of these mechanics. This is just going off by what I know off by heart. <laughs> Great, so she went and electrified Aqua Stance. When she look at her buffs, she has water and lightning up, right? That means you have to do lightning or water damage. You have to do one of those right now. And preferably, if you can, buff your water resistance at this exact same term as well. Which I have Sylvie, so her LB is going to be buffing the water resistance for us. And Nicole is going to be our main healer, so make sure everyone get mitigations and soulful stance up. Honestly, I could have used Wilhelm's mitigation too, but I did not, so it's whatever. I'm just going to provoke with Wilhelm. And we're going to LB with Esther's. Although... I should probably imbue an imperil first. Esther versus, and it's kind of overkill. I overkilled this a lot, actually. But this is basically a request from YouTube, so yeah. Canadian sins there, yeah, Canadian sins there. Let's go. So yeah, just look at the buffs. All that will die off next turn, so you're fine there. I'm gonna make sure to keep breaks out with Orin too. So PPP or let's use these two LBs first. So we can generate crisps for them. And we're going to do lightning damage with Esther. So do you know what way to do lightning or water damage? The lightning damage is going to come from Esther. So she's going to do the lightning damage for us. Great, perfect. PPP. My friend Esther is not optimally set up for man eat or anything like that as well. That is also something you can be aware of. So you just look at her buffs. She has light or dark, so we need to do light or dark damage. Um, Wilhelm can do dark damage. And you want you want to keep light light resistance buff up this turn as well. Like Nicole can do that, and just like buff soulful stance or some shit. Whatever you want to do. Wilhelm can do our dark damage, and then we're gonna LB with Esther's. And we're gonna, if it pushes, then it pushes. Whatever, but it's fine. Um. You do lots of damage with Esther. This is actually going to do way too much damage. Alright, great. So we're just going to break with Orin again. EPPU. Orin's our main breaker. His LB's breaking. Hey, Boak, welcome back. How are you? And then double the fun. I don't even know what we do with double the fun. We could do magic mitigation. We already have our resistance up. Maybe we could put up a little barrier. We're going to make sure stop resist is up, though. We'll just do stop resist. This is why I said no LB, no triple cats. Is it very slow? No, but the um, person I'm doing it for is going to be bringing an Esther, so I'm just basically showing him how he could do this fight with his team comp. I literally copied the team comp that I'm doing it for the person I'm doing it for. So I'm going to copy that. So we're going to do wind or earth damage this turn. I don't even know who has wind damage, honestly. Uh oh. Oh, Orn has wind damage. We're good. So Orin can do wind damage. PPP Orin does wind damage. We could do mitigations with Wilhelm. Sylvie LB. I'm sure I know that he's Esther. <laughs> um We're gonna LB we're just gonna use all our LBs for fun. And we're gonna triple cast bolting strike. I need to slow my DPS a little bit to get my espers in, I think. Or bring in Nicole's um 
cooldowns to help get the esters. So what mission I did so far I did not do ice or water, I don't think. We did wind and we did dark. I did dark with Wilhelm. So I still need to do ice and water damage, which is fine. We can get that in. Then we're gonna evoke the two espers. This might actually push below 50. Oh, we never pushed below 50. Okay, so we're gonna look at her look at her buffs again. Always look at her buffs. Why is Wilhelm not countering? So we're gonna do light or dark damage again. And we gotta make sure that light is buffed. Pretty sure we already have light buff with Sylvie, but I'm just gonna do it again with Nicole, just for because I can. Actually, is he do we have mitigations up? Yeah, so we'll. Wait, do we have mitigations up? I didn't even see mitigations. Magic damage. Wait, there's no mitigations up. All right, we have no mitigations up. So I'm going to do mitigation and soulful stance. Just if necessary, Sylvie can buff resistances. <laughs> no racing, you're dead. <laughs> if you can't blind her, you can't live. You need that's why I brought toxic rain on Nicole. Yeah, you can skip phase two. If you can burst from 50 to 19, you can you can do that as well. You can, you can get her from 50, if you can get her from 50 to 19, you win. But um, I brought toxic green so I could so I could actually uh, just in case we did pass 50% threshold, we're good. We sliding is fun. Um, all right, so we did that with Nicole. So we're gonna do dark damage with Wilhelm. Get a little sidetrack there. Um, do ice or water? Yeah, we'll get that in. Right now we gotta do dark though. He's still broken, so instead of Orn L being this turn, actually, I'm gonna hit her with ice damage to get the mission in. And I like using items for that kind of stuff. Items for that is kind of poggers. So we're gonna do an item. It says ice damage. Um, I wanna make sure resistance is up with Sylvie. And I wanna make sure that we have resistance is up as well. Now, for proof of concept, I wanna cross the. I'm not even going to triple cast. I'm just going to cross the threshold. Pretty sure there's still lightning imbued, right? Yeah, there's still lightning imbued. So I'm just going to double cast bolting strike so I can cross the threshold. On purpose, so I can show off the mechanic. I do not want to burst. I want to go through the threshold. So then the turn after you cross, so this turn's fine. And the turn after you cross, you got to make sure that you do your toxic rain. So this turn, we're gonna, we're gonna do Toxic Rain. Boom, Toxic Rain. I would also dispel this turn if you can, but I can't specifically dispel this turn, so I'm not going to. Or can I dispel? Do I have a way to dispel? Whatever, I'm gonna do um, Howling Moon. I'm gonna do my Esper here. I'm gonna do Sylvie's LB. Do I have a dispel? Probably not. I want to do the LBs too, just so we can stack up. Because if we do Esther's LB, she gets a buff, right? I'll have to dispel next turn, I guess. There's like no other way around it. We'll do Fenrir for the for the uh, mission. We we'll do Sylvie's LB, Orin's LB. We'll dispel next turn. It's fine. And we're just gonna do the Esther LBs just just so she can get her buff. Hey, Ava Reed, welcome back. How are you? So she's she's so we use Toxic Rain the turn after you cross the threshold, and um, she basically does nothing then. She just switches stances. Make sure you have stop resistance up as well. I should also be keeping Provoke up with Wilhelm, but I haven't. So this is the hard part. Um, so you're gonna look at her buffs. You're gonna be like, I don't know what phase she's in, but you can see attack is at three. If you look at her buffs, attack is at the number three, magic's at the number three, and the other two are two. That means she's in her physical damage phase where she's gonna start doing a lot of physical damage and fire damage. So you gotta cover, you gotta physical cover with Wilhelm. And then you gotta make sure that you're keeping all your buffs up with Sylvie as well. I'm gonna do physical damage reduction because this is a physical damage phase. And probably we're gonna buff everyone too. Actually, I'm gonna keep that for the last phase. We're gonna keep the 170% buff for the last phase. 
Oh, wait, I clicked on the wrong one. Physical cover, physical damage reduction, whatever you want to call it. Make sure stock reductions are up. Just keep all your buffs and stuff up. We're going to dispel with someone too, which I'm probably going to do with Nicole. Definitely going to dispel. So we don't want her to have that attack buff up. We're going to break with Orin. You do it every two turns? Probably. You're probably right. Um, that's fine. I just want to be safe. I want to keep reminding myself and anyone watching that you got to keep your stop buff up. Um, if we do too much damage here, then rip showing off mechanics. Okay, we didn't push. Great. So she's blinded. She's probably gonna do like no damage anyway because she's blinded. But just a proof of concept, you do have to do physical cover. It's kind of it's kind of effort. It's fine. If you're struggling with something, we can go back and like dance step for you, Avid Reed. I don't mind. This is like a fun day streaming anyway, so we can we can dance step for anything that you're struggling with. Um, so we're gonna cross the threshold here. But the, just to prove a concept, when the attack buff is up or refresh, and the magic buff is up or refresh, she's in physical damage phase, doing lots of physical damage to you. So, um, you know what? I'm just gonna LB twice. So we are gonna be crossing a threshold here. I'm gonna make sure that everyone else LBs, except Wilhelm. Wilhelm doesn't really need to. Wilhelm needs to have provoke up, if anything. Make sure, make sure you have Provoke up in the last phase is very, very important. Because the turn after you cross um, Asura's 19% threshold or whatever you want to call it, the turn after that, she's going to single targetly kill someone. So your tank, wanna, you want to have your tank provoking. And if possible, re-raise, I guess. So we're just going to LB with everyone for fun. Next turn, we're going to dispel anyway. And we're going to LB with Esther just so we can get our buffs up with Esper. And then no, this turns free. This is basically a free turn. Buff is already up. Well, I refreshed up. Um, so this is a free turn. Just want to make sure that your tank is provoking. It's like one of the most important parts here is that he's provoking. He's provoking. Yeah, great. So I'm using Wilhelm, and my Wilhelm's LB is like pretty, pretty max, pretty well maxed out, if not it's maxed. So I'm gonna use this to put up mitigations and defense buffs for my whole team. I think it does defense buffs for your whole team. It does mitigation for sure. Boost defense for self and decrease. Okay, so it does mitigation for the whole team. And it does defense for himself. He's gonna automatically die, and I need to dispel the boss. So Nicole's gonna dispel for me. I still need to do water damage with someone. I can do that with Nicole. I'm not worried about that. And I don't want to kill the boss. I'm actually afraid I'll kill the boss right now. I still need another Esper. What bolting? I don't think bolting strike would kill the boss. I hope not. Oh, bolting strike while she has buffs up. Yeah, I'll do it with buffs up. No, don't kill us. All right, we got the S. Very good. Um, so <laughs> I was worried I was gonna kill it. So we're gonna dispel. I have the dispel. There's a thing that needs to happen. We don't want her to have all those stuff on. Orn's gonna break. Orn's a breaker. Mitigation Wilhelm. He's provoking, so that's good. Wilhelm's gonna die here. And there's no actually I said re-raise earlier, but there's actually no point to re-raise your tank here. Um, because he's gonna get the spell anyway. So there's absolutely no point. Just keep the rest of your team alive. He's gonna get dispelled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Sylvie's huge uh buff, the 170% buff. And we're gonna put up does anyone have physical mitigations? Silka is pretty good. We do have reduced physical damage for one more turn. Um, so Sylvie's gonna put up barrier. She's gonna do uh, her 170% buff. Marion, watch over me for everyone. And she's gonna put up a barrier to help keep people alive. Although we already have barriers. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. She puts up her buff, and what else can she do? 
Screw it, barrier. YOLO. We'll just do more barrier. Alright, great. Why not? So Wilhelm's gonna like immediately die. He's just dead. And the other team's gonna the rescue team's gonna take some physical damage here. You also could have blinded, which I did not do. You can also blind on that turn, but I just didn't blind. I don't know why, I just never did it, but you can also blind. Um, so I'm gonna try and kill it. We need to do water damage here. I'm gonna go in for the kill, honestly. We can do flood with Nicole. I think my esters are imbued with lightning. So Nicole's flood can do the water damage and imperil lightning. So that's like a two in one move there. And we also need to do anima, which I think is on Sylvie. Nope, it's on Orin. So we'll do Animo Orin. And we definitely use way more than three LBs. And then we just kill it with Esther. Just like how I would have did it. I mean, obviously it's going to be varied from run to run because she does like a little bit of random stuff. But that's the general rundown on how you would do it with Wilhelm and Orin. Instead of like how I prefer it with Seacard and Lid. Um, but Orin's a really good breaker. You just gear Orin for breaking... Well, Helm's gonna be like your physical cover tank, and Sylvie and Nicole's gonna handle your resistances and the elemental damage for you. And you just kill it with Esther. Honestly, Esther makes this fight a joke. Esther makes the entire game a joke. Um, so yeah, everything's pretty easy from there. I specifically made this video for one particular person on YouTube that asked me. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I will definitely post the Discord link in the description for people. Um, and I'll do a builder link here on stream as well, so we'll get that going too. Cool, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Pew, pew, pew.